We ask that you make sure when you participate virtually in this program, you take care to create a place that is clutter-free and safe for you. Be careful with scissors, writing utensils, paper, and always ask an adult before participating in the program and using materials around the house. Hi everyone, this is Jamie. Um, today we're making full hearts. This craft looks at what we love and what our hearts are full of and of course then what we need to make room for in our lives and in our hearts. As you can tell, I really love simple crafts and worksheets that are not hard to do but really make you think. Step one is you're going to drop two big hearts on your paper and this one is going to be labeled full of and your second heart is going to be labeled make room for. So you should have two hearts total on your paper that we're going to decorate and draw on. Step two is really easy, but it requires a lot of thought. You're going to make a list of all the things you love, all the things that fill your heart up when you see them um, or do them or engage in this activity. You just feel so full and happy and that is how we know it's a full heart activity. Um, and then you're also going to rank them from what you think takes up the most space in your heart to the least space in your heart. And least isn't bad because it's still in your heart, it just means that it maybe doesn't take as much space as the top item. Step three is to think about a pie chart. So hopefully we all know what a pie chart is. It's a big circle graph and it's divided into sections and we are going to divide our heart the same way into sections that we feel represent what we're most and least on our list. And here is some, uh, what it might look like. So for example, I divide my heart into all different color sections. So of course we have a big chunk dedicated to family. That's really something that fills my heart. Um, we have my dog, he's a big part of my life and obviously a big part of um, what I love. And then I have animals and nature and art and writing. And these are some things that I really think fill my heart. For the second heart and the last step, you're going to really challenge yourself to think about what deserves more room in your heart. What didn't make it to your first heart and wasn't on your list? Maybe a person that you know really needs you but you don't make time for as much or a hobby you've been neglecting. You're going to brainstorm and you're gonna fill in that second heart with whatever you want to open your heart up a little bit more to. For example, something I might write is faith and spirituality. It falls onto the back burner sometimes, meaning that I don't always pay attention to it, but I know it deserves to be in my heart. Um, my grandparents and my sister are people that I don't put effort into seeing all the time or talking to, so that really should be on my list of make room for. And then stuff like supporting local communities. I'm always looking at ways to help but I sometimes need to open up my heart and take that extra step to look around my own local communities and see who needs me and what needs me. So those are some really good examples of what you can um, add to your second heart, your make room for heart. That's it for today, everyone. So really look at your hearts. I'm so happy that we got to do this together because it's always good to, during this sort of uh, time of isolation, to think about ourselves, what we need, what we do, and to open up our hearts to those around us a little tiny bit more. So catch me next week and we will be doing another simple and fun craft together.